Matsuyama City, the capital of Ehime Prefecture in Japan, famous for their oranges, other sweet delicacies, different activities and destination, as well as their delicious cuisine. So in this video, join me as I show you a one-day travel guide for Matsuyama City, Ehime Prefecture. Let's go! Hi! Annyeong! Annyeong! Welcome to Ehime. Welcome to Matsuyama City! Yay! Over there. Yes. Oh yeah, kita yung casa. As you can see the ESID here, so you've seen my apartment, and this is her apartment, and it's just so beautiful. It's more new, I guess, and they have elevators. Meanwhile, in my apartment in Kobe, char, natawag reklamo. So for this one-day trip, I will be accompanied by my friend Celine, who is a new jet here in Matsuyama City. And first, we're gonna go to Okaido, or the shopping district here in Matsuyama City, to eat breakfast. Matsuyama is not that big, and you can go around the city by using their tram system like this one. Or you can also walk around because everything is walking distance. So you don't really need a pass to go around the city that much. During this time, this was summer, so we took the tram instead of walking. And in just a short while, we made it to Hokkaido, the famous Shotengai in the city center. Okay, so we're he here in Hokkaido. This is a shopping district mall here in Matsuyama, Ehime. And we are currently searching for a coffee shop that Se really wants to try, which Ooh. is supposed to be good. So we're gonna try. My very trustworthy tour guide. Guard. <laughs> I love you. Sana masarap. So in Hokkaido, you can try the breakfast set meal of Amanda Coffees. They have such a great variety of pastries, sandwiches, and whatnot. Honestly, guys, they have such a good morning set meal. It's worth it. And everything tasted delicious. At least what we tried. And also, of course, as a coffee fan, their coffee is amazing. Definitely recommended. Okay, we're finished with the coffee. It was nice, guys. Definitely try Amanda's coffee. Amanda's, Amanda's coffee. There's a lot of different shops and restaurants that you can find in Hokkaido. We even found this cute craft shop here. You can explore the area and just shop whatever you need. After exploring the Shotengai, we went outside the streets of Hokkaido and explored more. And we were able to see a local souvenir shop where you could definitely find a lot of Matsuyama oranges product. So there's a lot of orange juice, orange candies, orange everything. My favorite part, you can actually get an actual orange juice in a cup for 100 yen. There's also a Thai Meshi restaurant, but we'll get to that later. And just a short walk away is the cable car going up to Matsuyama Castle. I'm actually excited to try this one because they offer a choice where you can have a lift instead of the cable car. So this is my first time trying a lift because as you all know, I'm really scared of heights. And so this is a challenge for me, but it's pretty exciting. I'm gonna wait for the chair. Hello. 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 We're going to arrive in just a while. So when you land, you still need to walk towards the castle. And on the way there, you'll be able to see this souvenir shop where they offer the Mikan ice cream. We're in, so yes, it's so cute. We're here in um, Matsuyama Castle area after the lift. Dito kayo papunta sa parang may souvenir shop. And we're gonna try the ice cream. Orange ice cream. Matsuya. Ehime is popular for the orange. Mikan. 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 So let's try. Ooh, orange. Orange. Oh, yeah. Also inside the souvenir shop, you can actually dine in for a quick snack. 
So we decided to do that later and just go up towards the castle area. So it's a walk. It's a challenging walk. It's very steep going upwards, but it's a nice exercise. And going up there, as you can see, there's a lot of people visiting as well the area. Matsuyama Castle is really beautiful. It's also quite popular with the locals because look at that view. When you climb it, it's just amazing. So it was really pretty hot, so we didn't take that much time exploring the area, but it was quite beautiful. We decided to go back by taking the lift again, and that's another 3 minutes ride going down. I also enjoyed this one. I survived it, be proud of me. And yeah, going to this trip is definitely well recommended for you to try, especially the chair lift. So as you can see, here I am going down, and there's Celine. Arriving also from above. Go girl. Struggles of Polisin. <laughs> After that exciting journey, it was time for lunch, and Celine and I went for the Taimeshi restaurant that we saw earlier. So, Taimeshi is an ehime delicacy. It's very popular. It's a unique dish using sea bream. It's called taimeshi. <laughs> so simply translated, sea bream rice. It's a kind of fish that you eat with specially made rice, just like this one. Taimeshi, specialty of this region. Tapos meron yung nabi. So after indulging in the very delicious lunch, we decided to try the matcha beer. I believe that there are also other matcha beers in other prefectures, but this is my first time seeing it and actually going to try it. So Celine showed me to this restaurant, a matcha restaurant, where they served apparently good matcha beer. And when they were making it, they allowed us to film it. And it was just like this. They were mixing this special matcha that they mixed in the beer. And voila, matcha beer. I'm gonna take a huge gulp. Whoa. <laughs> Say reality. Whoa. Musta. Whoa. Deva. Whoa. Aida, do you like it? Or you and the last itinerary for today is a popular one because it is based in the famous film of Studio Ghibli, Spirited Away. It's the Dogo Onsen. So currently, it's actually being renovated. So there's a lot of scaffolding. But apparently, this does resemble a lot like in Studio Ghibli's Spirited Away, the onsen bath where Chihiro worked. And as a last tip for your souvenir, try the Ehime Tart. They've got a lot of different flavors, but the ones that we like was actually the chestnut and the matcha one. So that is it for our one-day itinerary in Matsuyama Ehime. I am now going back to Kobe to ride a bus. It's not that far, just three to four hours away. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one and you'll be able to use it. And please do explore Matsuyama Ehime Prefecture. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye!